how to make walls of resistance tumble. Pray with me. Father in heaven, speak to us now as we go to thy word. I dare not proclaim thy word without the assurance of your presence with us. Speak through me, Lord. Even as you speak to us, let the words of my mouth, the meditations of our hearts, please thee. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Last Sabbath, we shared with you a message from out of the book of Joshua. We started it in the morning. We continued it during Vesper. I have been directed by the Holy Ghost to stay with Joshua for today. There's something in there for us as we get ready to deal with the devil, engage in battle, and to go out there and let others know that Jesus is real. That he's alive. And that we've got the victory. The dramatic moment continues. The children of Israel have finally crossed the Jordan. They have prepared themselves spiritually. They have followed all that God has said to the latter. They have embraced his promise. They have had the word back from the two spies pertaining to the land of Jericho. Joshua heard a word from the Lord in chapter 1. You remember that? God gave him a promise. God told him what to do. Joshua realized that the divine word did not mean that one should not engage in human activity. But rather, that the divine word also presupposes that the human will cooperate with the divine. That's why he sent out the two spies. Matt Rahab gave her a contractual agreement. And then they headed back to Joshua. They have gone through the process of once again reinstituting the Passover. The males went through the process of circumcision. All spiritual preparation has been made. Because even though they've had a word from the Lord, and even though we receive a word from the Lord, we must be willing to do what the word says do. God gives a promise. No obstacle before his people cannot come down. But God also has a way of saying you must prepare yourself for engaging in battle. They have prepared themselves. And I want you to see this sequence now. God came to Joshua chapter 1 spoke to him, gave him a promise. Joshua sent two humans into Jericho. They came back. Children of Israel, 
go through spiritual preparation like we did on Wednesday night. We prayed. Opening our hearts up to the moving of the Holy Spirit. Asking God to do a work inside of us. To break down every idol. To cast out every foe. To wash us. Make us whiter than snow. Committing ourselves to God. That there be nothing between our soul and the Savior. No person, no thing. God would have first place. We cried out for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Whatever wrongs needed to be made right. Whatever steps needed to be made to mend offenses. Whatever needed to be done. Was to be done. And like the children of Israel. Here we are now. On the very order of success here we are now about to step over and claim the land of milk and honey here we are now as God's people just a step from the heavenly Canaan land but there are woes of obstacles before us there was Jericho there it stood before the children of Israel. You need to see the place. Israel had a problem. Four things I'm going to quickly touch on. One, Israel had a problem. Two, Israel had a promise. Three, Israel had a presence. Four, Israel would prevail. You all didn't get that. Can I say it again? Israel had a problem. Israel had a promise. Israel had a presence. Israel would prevail. Notice the sequence. The problem. There was Jericho. Massive walls. Note these walls the outer wall of Jericho was six feet thick and about 20 feet high the inner wall was 12 feet thick and 30 feet high before getting into Jericho they had to get through the wall before conquering the land they had to pass through the walls. The king of Jericho. The rulers of Jericho. They laughed at these Israelites. They had defied all enemies. They felt secure behind their walls. God's children often have walls. Walls that seek to prevent them from realizing their full potential. Walls at times that are barriers that seem as if it's, it's, it's holding them back from realizing what God has for them. Financial walls. Family problem walls. Health. Illness walls. Economic walls. Israel had a problem. But Israel also had a promise. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave a lot of stuff out and only give you sufficient to energize you so that we can get out there. Is that all right? Okay. Can I take my coat off again? Dr. Kelly, we do something a little different than NCU. 
way, way. Let loose and let go. Amen. Follow me now. Israel had a problem. Jericho. The walls. What's your problem today? You walked into this church. You've come through an, a week. What's your problem? What's the wall that you're dealing with? What's your situation that seems insurmountable? Some of you came here today and, and, and you feel like giving up. Some of you are feeling as if there's no way out. I cannot make it. Some of you have come today feeling hopeless, feeling helpless, filled with despair. You're swollen with despondency. At any moment, you feel like you could burst. Watch your wall. Watch your problem. Israel had a problem. You might have a problem. But Israel also had a promise. And I want you to know, I want you to know, I want you to hear me now. And you have a promise. I heard. See, 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 see. I heard God say, and I told you this last week, but repetition, you know, is important. It deepens, it deepens, it deepens our understanding. You remember? God gave a promise last week. He told, he told Joshua, listen, listen, listen. Chapter one, remember he said, verse two, now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people unto the land which I do give them. Even the children of Israel, God said it, I give it to you. Even before you step into the land, he says, it's yours. Listen to me, saints of the living God. Even before the problems of my wall comes down, God says, the land is yours. Before the blocks crumble. Before the stones even disintegrate. Even before you see what's beyond the walls. God says, it's yours. Watch your wall. Hmm? What's blocking you from getting what God has promised? What's the obstacle? What do you need today? Israel had a problem, but Israel also had a promise. I heard him say, every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you. We're going to go out there. Every place. Every place your foot goes as you're handing out handbills. Every place, every person, God says, I give them to you. You got to believe it. You got to claim it. You've got inside your house areas that you need to walk around. Areas that you need to put down your foot concerning. Are you listening to me? You've got some homes where you're the only one in there that's a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. That home has been preserved because of you. Now you need to claim every inhabitant in that household. Yeah. 